What's up, Boston? How's it going, guys? I want to speak my piece. Look at how far we've come. Look at how far we've come on cannabis respect and human dignity elevation. It used to be that you'd be looked at with stigma and scorn if you wanted to invest time and energy into curing cannabis or growing some at home for yourself to consume. It used to be that way, no exceptions. Now it pretty much makes common sense to folks and legal sense in 17 states' eyes and DC's laws if you choose to use cannabis for a particular doctor or prescriber approved medical purposes such as if you have cancer, if you are undergoing cancer treatment, if you have HIV AIDS, if you have to take HIV antiviral drugs, if you have multiple sclerosis or other neurodegenerative disorders, if you suffer from chronic persistent pain, or you need strong, more risky medicines to, to treat your pain, if you suffer from seizure disorder, an inflammatory bowel disorder like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, if you have a wasting syndrome, poor appetite, glaucoma, and many other conditions, there has been a major shift in the state-by-state, -state, region by region attitude on this issue over the last 15 years. There's approximately one million, one million approved medical cannabis patients uh, under the authorization of 10,000 doctors and prescribers, just rough, rough numbers. People are being seriously helped. This is awesome. Certainly there's much more that needs to be done to make cannabis treatments more available for these types of conditions, which are often treated with more severe side effect producing medications. Many patients and doctors are still in the dark. Unfortunately, Instead of supporting education and development of these local medicine systems, federal government leaders and bureaucrats have gone the way of facilitating a pharmaceutical privileged legitimacy monopoly on this 37 million year old common, commonwealth medicinal plant here in the commons of Boston. They have given the go ahead for a pharmaceutical company to go through U.S. testing of a highly characterized hash oil made from a big, in a big grow-off in Great Britain. At the same time, the federal government has given nothing but grief and permission denied slips to well-meaning academics and non-profits, even here in Massachusetts, who want to grow cannabis for similar testing. Yes, this is the American federal government giving privileged access to venture capital infused pharma companies and run, ruining, throwing in jail and pointing guns at the heads of people who are doing a complementary and alternative medicine approach with this ancient medicinal herb in places like California, Colorado, Montana, Washington and other states. Since this is a freedom rally, freedom rally, yeah. let me take a moment to recognize here and now the, our universal scientific freedom to explore and investigate this very exciting and promising medical applications for cannabis that is being explicitly restricted in this country thanks to the wonders of compounds in cannabis called cannabinoids. They interact with our body's evolutionarily ancient endocannabinoid system. There are applications on the horizon such as brain cancer killing and other types of cancer killing. Lou Gehrig's disease halting and multiple sclerosis slowing. Alzheimer's disease preventing stroke and brain injury recovery boosting, bad cow disease fighting, HIV suppressing. Keep it going. Keep it going. We, I, I will, man. Thank you. <laughs> All of these things have been suggested in clinical scientific <laughs> research in reputable labs here and around the world. We are not free in this country, in this land of the free, to test these applications out in big clinical and treatment trials in humans using our own local grows of cannabis because of these irrational prohibitionist laws. It is not that the testing is too expensive. It's not too dangerous. 
It's not beyond our technological and scientific means. It is just a straight up ideological ban. This is just, this is like 400 years ago in Europe yanking away Galileo's telescope just after he's caught a glimpse of the moons of Jupiter and imagine a new celestial map. This is just what the Catholic leader, church leaders did, the powers that be back then, out of fear of losing their control and power. But the world did move on and astronomy moved forward. How many years will the advancement in the field of medicine and human health be delayed by the federal government's obstinacy? Please chant with me. What do we want? Freedom to explore cannabis. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Freedom to explore cannabis. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Freedom to explore cannabis. When do we want it? Right now! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! There are plenty of reasons people might 